More than one in three American adults is obese. Now the American Medical Association is recognizing obesity as a disease. It could be an important step for awareness and prevention. Dr. Lou Aroni is an obesity specialist at New York Presbyterian Hospital. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. So what is the consequence and significance of this announcement? Well, we know as obesity researchers that obesity is a disease, but the fact that the American Medical Association has recognized it will have tremendous impact on legislation in Washington, with insurance companies. It carries a lot of weight. One in three American adults uh, has obesity, overweight. Do you think this will cause insurers to pay for some of the treatments for obesity? I think so. If you look at insurance policies, they generally exclude obesity treatments. So people come in, they think they should be treated because they have health problems like diabetes, high blood pressure, even cancers are caused by obesity, and yet that treatment is excluded. Within the medical community, there's been a clear understanding that obesity is a disease. That's right. Or not. It, it's become very clear in the past few years that as people gain weight, damage occurs to the signaling pathways between the fat cell, the stomach, the intestine, and the brain. Mm -hmm. The brain can't tell how much food is coming in and how much fat is stored. Then why has it taken so long? Because it takes a while before these types of research findings are translated into the, a group like the AMA recognizing this. But the fact that this was overwhelmingly recognized by the AMA, I think, says volumes it's about a, it's this. It's a premature. You're, you have been on the front lines of the fight against obesity. This is a big deal. I know you, mm -hmm. you believe that. What do you think it will do in terms of prevention? I think that prevention is key, but we've got to start very, very early, and we've got to be very serious about it. But if that doesn't work, then we have to implement treatment programs, and we haven't been doing that very well. And so what about somebody like Mayor Bloomberg here in New York trying to ban certain size soft drinks uh, because of sugar content and that thing? I mean, will you see more of that because of obesity being recognized as a disease? I think we should see things like that. Now, is it, should it be that exact effort? You, you could debate that. But I think that that will have more weight behind it. And I think with people who struggle with weight issues, I think the biggest issue is whether insurance is going to help pay for it. I mean, people who would like to have the sleeve surgery, the lap band surgery, gastric bypass surgery, when their insurance um, uh, carriers don't cover that, it's very tough. Well, anyone who's obese will tell you that they want to lose weight. Yes. This is not a choice. Anyone who thinks that doesn't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. And I think that if people had the kind of medical options that are now available, they would take them. At the bottom line, do you tell your patients there are two things you have to do? Eat, eat wiser and less food, and secondly, get a lot of exercise. Is well, it that simple? If it were that simple, then I wouldn't have a job. Yeah. So there are nuances to this. Yeah. There are medical therapies, there's surgery, there are other things because, again, once obesity is established, there are physical mechanisms right. that right. take hold that make it very difficult for people to lose weight. Crater Willie's disease and other diseases that people have. All right, Dr. Lou Aroni, thank you.